Hello, and this is Bill Guest Reviews, and today for my first review, I'm going to do the Mafex Wonder Woman. So before I take a look at the action figure, first we're going to take a look at her accessories that she comes with. First up, she comes with the signature Mafex flight stand. It's a very good stand, and it can hold the figure well. And it has different plugs that you can plug the actual flight stand into. So, you don't have to put it in just any hole. It goes in any of these. And she comes with three different pairs of hands, not including the ones that she comes with in the package. So, first, she comes with these hands, relaxed hands. She comes with her lasso holding hands. And then she comes with her sword and shield holding hands. And I think they're very well done. They have great sculpting on them. Great detail. And to change them out is very easy. And these are the fists that she that comes attached to her in the packaging. And they're very easy to pop off. They just come off like that. And I'll just put the relaxed hands on her. Okay, so now I'm going to also take a look at her other accessories. She comes with lasso, her extended lasso. Then she comes with this lasso. And it can attach to her belt pretty easily. And it stays on pretty good. Then she comes with her shield, and it has some great detail on it. The eagle looks great. On the inside, the paint's pretty good. And then finally, she has her sword. And it's got some pretty good detail on it, too. On the hilt, there's some great sculpting. I like the gold tone on it. And it even has a symbol there that's pretty good sculpted. Okay. So now I'm going to go over the figure. And I think this is a great figure. It has lots of articulation. And you can get her into a variety of poses. That say like this Wonder Woman. This is from the basic 5 inch line from Mattel. This figure has very limited articulation. Like... That's all she can do with her leg for this one. And this one, you can actually get her in a great kicking position. So, this one has really great articulation. And just better detail. So, I'm going to go over some of the details of her articulation. Her head can move down just a little bit. It can move up slightly. But, it has... A ball jointed upper torso, so she has pretty good range of motion, and ball jointed lower torso at her waist. And the head really doesn't have much articulation up and down, but with the double ball joints for her torso, I'm okay with that. And her arm can move up pretty far, bends at the elbow, and it has an extra ball joint so you can get extra movement there. This one's the same, has elbow, and then the extra ball jointed shoulders so you get extra range of movement. And then the skirt can be shifted up and down so that it doesn't bend when you're posing her legs up like this. And I really like that because, like say, with this one, if you pose her leg up, it's going to bend the skirt and you're not going to be able to read, like put it back in the way, the way it's supposed to be. So, I like that about this one too. And her legs have two ball joints in them so that you can move them up like that and get range of motion, extra range of motion. She bends at the knee twice. She has a double jointed knee, which I really like, so you can get her into this. And then 
Her ankles move up and down. And if you wanted to, you could even move them side to side like that. And so, I think it's a really good toy. And you definitely get what you pay for with this action figure. With the articulation and even the great likeness of Gal Gadot. And now I'm going to switch her arms out, or her hands out, her accessory holding hands. And getting these in isn't hard. They just slide in easily. And getting the accessories in is pretty easy. So it goes in easy. And I forgot to mention that she also has articulation right here. And it can move side to side and up and down so you can get her arm in that kind of a position. And then you can switch this one out for her shield holding hand. Because the difference between the shield holding hands and her lasso holding hands is her lasso holding hands are they're open more. So she can hold it better. And it just slides in like this. And she can hold it in her hand very well. And now, for the last thing, I'm going to put in her lasso holding hands. Which you can use the same sword and shield holding hands. It doesn't really matter, but it's a different set of hands just for this reason. This one goes in just a little bit tougher. So, it goes in pretty easy. And I like how she can hold it. It's very good. And for the flight stand, I'll show you how that works too. You just take this, and then clip it around her. So, it holds her very well. So I like that too. So, that's my review. I think this figure is very well sculpted. It has great pain, great detail, and most of all, articulation. That's the main thing I like about it, is the articulation, all the poses you can get into. And with the flight stand, it's even better. So, this toy I would highly recommend. It's a great toy. Thanks for watching.